Hello and welcome back. If you are just joining me, my name is Hoon. My channel is all about making better coffee at home. So I have another uh, roasting video for you guys. Uh, today I'll be roasting, uh, it's going to be decaffeinated uh, Timor, uh, green beans from Timor. The Timor is uh, this small island uh, nearby Indonesia. So, so this is a water uh, process. So supposedly you get the, the caffeine out from the green beans uh, by using the water method. So soak into water for a long time, get the caffeine, uh, caffeine out. So anyway, I don't know exactly how science works, but uh, I'm really looking forward to try this. So my plan is today, uh, I'll be using uh, Bimor 1600 and I'm, I'll be roasting uh, half pounds. So, I mean, I, I mean, if some of you uh, watch my videos, I go, even though I do half pounds, I collect one pound, so set at 18 minutes, and then I add two and a half minutes more, so I'll give you the maximum time to roast my beans. So whenever I hear first crack, uh, I'll be using this small metal piece here. Uh, get some, uh, I'm gonna get some air flow going. For well, another three minutes, maybe this time, uh, get in you know, a good uh, time to roast uh, properly. So, so that's the plan. And see you guys out there. I'm going to take my machine out outside and then start roasting. It's about three minutes into roasting process and I'm going to time it this time so how long it's going to take to uh, hear the first crack. It's been 10 minutes into uh, roasting. Uh, still no sign of cracking here. Just about 12 minutes into it, I can hear the cracking noise now. At this point, I'm going to reset the timer. It's about 12 minutes. And I'm going to use my metal piece here. And I'm going to uh, wait till I think about two minutes or more like three minute mark and see what happens. Okay, so I stop at two and a half minutes into it. So. Let's take a look. Uh, coffee's done. You know what, some reason, it doesn't have a lot of sh uh, chaff is coming out for the, uh, for the decaffeinated coffee. Uh, let's take a look. So I went, uh, let's see, uh, once I hear first crack, I went two and a half minutes. Uh, looks, so this is more like full city, uh, so medium most. So this is more like medium, yeah, medium to dark. So more medium than dark, but it's not a light roast for sure. Uh, I mean, overall, so this is a decaffeinated coffee, and I can't wait to try this. Uh, anyway, so I, when I was talking to Roaster this morning, he said he wanted me to wait about three days, ideally three or four, because I usually drink uh, about 24 to 48 hours. So anyway, for this roast, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait three days and see what happens. So see you guys in about three days. It's been three days. I roasted the decaffeinated uh, the green beans from Timor Island. And you know what? I can't wait to try this. It's been three days, so let's open this thing up. Wow. This smells fantastic. I mean, if some of you, as you know, if you are roasting at home, it's nothing like 
uh, the fresh uh, coffee, uh, freshly roasted coffee beans after two or three days. It smells fantastic, wonderful. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going uh, I'm going to be using uh, my Mazar Mini grinder for this. Uh, beans because I don't want to uh, mix with my uh, caffeinated beans. So I think uh, I think I'm going to use my Brista Express for my uh, caffeinated beans and uh, Mazar Mini for my decaf. So uh, I'm going to pull the shot. Uh, I'm, I'm I'll be using uh, 18 gram, and I think I'm going to make Americano this afternoon. So I I can drink it now. So so let's uh, prepare the shot here. In this shot, I'll be using my the rear dosing funnel. As you can see from the shot, this is looks amazing. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to try just the espresso first, and then I'm gonna make myself Americano. So I'll line some spoon. Since uh, this is decaffeinated, so I think I'll be okay drinking. It's about three o'clock. It's about three o'clock, sir, because I don't wanna stay up all night. Cheers, everybody. Wow, it's very bright. What else? Smooth. It's really good, really good. Uh, I bet you something to do with uh, my grinder as well. It's, you know, the thing is, the mother grinder is pretty decent grinder. I think they are uh, better than Brista Express, the building grinder for sure. So, give you more full body taste. It's not, it's really good. Okay. And then I'm gonna, the other half, I'm gonna make myself Americano using my uh, not neutral cup. Try this one more time here. Americano using uh, decaffeinated the Timo. Cheers. Wow, it's really, really smooth, and also I can taste the the earthiness in uh, the beans here as well. It's very a uh, little bright side, but also really smooth. You know, I have to say, I, um, I mean, ever since I started roasting at home, especially using the Beemore 1600, I think I can get really uh, consistently uh, decent quality roasted beans every time. So, anyway, if you don't have it, uh, you know what? I mean, if you have time to roast at home, consider. Uh, getting the Vmore 1600. I mean, mine is really old, but the, they came up with a new one. It's called AB uh, 1600. Uh, Vmore 1600 AB Plus, I think. Uh, they're amazing roaster. I think they are just under 500 bucks, I think. 
$3.99 or so. Anyway, they may, uh, you can roast some really good beans here. Anyway, I hope uh, this video helps. And if you like it, subscribe and see you guys next time.